Hi guys, in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step the process to color grade your Osmo Pocket 3 D-Log footage quickly and easily using the official DJI LUT file. All right, let's get straight into it. Okay guys, in this video, we're specifically looking at how do we convert our footage we've recorded in D-Log on the Pocket 3 and get it to look normal um, that we're used to seeing with the sort of bright colors and the contrasts and for using on our YouTube videos or footage or whatever you want to do. Now that actually process, rather than calling color grading, is actually to be really color conversion because we're converting from the D-Log M color profile, which has got billions and billions and billions and billions and billions of colors, to um, Rec 709 standard, which is pretty much associated with T high definition TVs. It's been around for a number, a number of years. And so that's Rec 709 color profile is uh, you know what we're used to seeing with our sort of naked eye effectively like you know look, it looks right it looks normal so you know the contrast and the saturation and stuff like that whereas of course the log m looks much more sort of flat because it's got a whole, a whole load of colors that even our human eyes can't, can't distinguish all right now just before we go into the process um how you can do it i'm just going to give you a very quick background um, information if you're interested if you're not interested in in the actual part of the, of the history then you, know, you can fast forward to the timestamp i'm going to display right now to get straight into what you need to do. So the color grading process is actually made up of effectively kind of three uh, sub processes, I suppose. The first thing is a color correction, and that's where we would um, change things like the white balance to make sure it's right. We would um, change saturations um, like con contrast and brightness and blacks and stuff like that. And we would generally do that on the log footage um, because that's got the most detail and it's not going to kind of break up if we do it later, later in a process. If you're a photographer, you might be used to things like a RAW file from like Nikon or Canon and something like that. So kind of the D-Log um, footage is kind of the equivalent of your RAW footage on your photography, where you would make changes to that first of all, and then you would convert it to JPEG for people to display on their devices. So the Rec 709 color profile it's a little bit, you know, as, as if it's a comparison of having like a JPEG uh, picture which can be displayed on pretty much all devices. And that's our kind of our final goal. Once we've done the conversion to Rec. 709, the final stage in this optional is where we actually um, provide our kind of look, I suppose. So if we want to, for example, um, increase the blues or increase the reds or make it a little bit more grainy um, just for our specific movie or video, then that is the true color grading process. So we kind of grade from Rec. 709 to our final look. But of course, most people aren't interested in, in doing the third stage and they're probably not actually that interested in doing the first stage either. So I just want to go straight from Pocket 3 straight to Rec. 709. So that's now where we're going to talk about how to do it. Okay, so first of all, you want to do a search um, on Google for DJI Osmo Pocket 3 D-Log M2 Rec. 709. So just trust me, just type it in a Google search and you'll get a link like this, this from the DJI um, site here. Now, um, no, thank you very much. Now you'll get to this page here, um, Pocket 3. So what you want to do is you want to download the version that's appropriate for your particular uh, machine you've got, whether you want a Mac or you've got a Windows, and you should get these little cube files. Okay, once we've downloaded our cube file, what we need to next do is import it into DaVinci Resolve for it to be able to pick it up. Okay, so what I want to do is keep that folder handy and load up DaVinci Resolve like we've got here. The next thing to do is click on the bottom right hand corner where we have the little cog symbol um, to get to access to project settings. And then go to where it says color management, which we have here. And then we can click on the button that says open LUT or LUT folder. Once you do that, you should have a folder something such as this. And what I'm going to do is um, I've already got the folder called DGI. Um, so you can either create one or just, um, you know, you might already have one called DGI. And then we're just going to drag that file, file into our DGI folder. And I've already got it there. So it's asking me to want to, um, to pop it in there. But, you know, if you drag it in, you should, it should appear literally in a folder like I have one just here. And then it's very important after that to refresh DaVinci Resolve so it actually uh, finds it. So you then click the Update Lists button then, and it's going to then uh, pick up the um, new um, LUT LUTs file available for us. So in this test project here, I've already bought in some log uh, file footage that I've recorded on the Pocket 3. Okay, so now we've bought the LUT 
file into the Divinity Resolve. We can then go to the process of converting it from uh, Pocket 3 DLOG M to Rec 709. So to do that, we just need to click on where we have the color tab at the bottom here, like so. And then we have our node as a standard here um, for our particular clip. So I'm going to right click on that and go down to where we have LUT, LUT, scroll down and we should see under our folder called DGI, our LUTs file called DGI Osmo, Osmo Pocket 3 DLOG M2 Rec 709 version one. Okay, so let's just click on that. And as soon as you do that, bang, it's done. Immediately our log gray sort of footage has disappeared and it's been replaced by a much nicer looking um, shot that looks almost matching the normal color profile. Well, in fact, that's what exactly what the color profile, normal color profile is, is effectively kind of recorded in Rec 709. Um, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, of course. Right, so there we go. So we go back to edit and we're going to um, play and we can now see we have all our colors that we're used to seeing um, if we recorded this in normal color profile. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's all you need to do. So that's how easy it is to convert um, from your D-Log Pocket 3 to Rec 709. Of course, you can go afterwards and you can change the brightness and contrast and stuff like that as you would do normally. Okay guys, I hope you find that video useful and if you do of course give it a good thumbs up and of course if you have any questions let me know in the comments and if you can subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks like this, it's much appreciated. Take care and see you soon.